Okay, now we can grill. What is gun green? Necrosis. Necrosis. Uh, necrosis is there. And it coming from what situation? Insufficient blood supply. Ischemia. Ischemia, yeah? No. We have ischemia, have necrosis and have gangrene, yeah? Or gangrene and necrosis are the same. Gangrene is for the organs which come in contact with the environment. Okay. And necrosis mm -hmm. is which are inside the body. Necrosis, it is cells. Mm -hmm. Death of the... Yes? Yeah. And gangrene, it's organs. Yeah? Okay. Uh, when we have ischemia, when we have a less of blood, yeah? less of circulation, yes? Okay, and we have a gangrene. Uh, We know some types of gangrene. What is it? Gas gangrene. And dry gangrene, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about dry gangrene because it is the most popular not popular, yeah? not like celebrity, uh, the most often, mm -hmm. yes, what happens with patients. When we have a dry gangrene, what do we have? We have, for example, thrombosis, yes, of basal, and then we have a leg, for example, with yeah, with necrosis, yeah, with gangrene. Cells there are necrosis. But what we see when we talk about dry gangrene? Mm, a clear demarcation. Uh, how? Demarcation. Demarcation? Between the necros part and the healthy part. Demarcation line, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, and these uh, black part are dry. Dry, yeah. What about wet? There is no demarcation line. Yeah. Irregular. Yeah. We don't see any line. There is some uh, black, then some red, then some green, some yellow, any colors, but no line. Eh? It's one. And second? This black part is quite red. Wet. Why there we have dry and there we have wet? We can't say this, but there is Aseptic. Aseptic. No microorganisms. Oh, and there we have microorganisms. What live there? Eh? Mm -hmm. 
and they leave and produce a uh, what's, not pass toxins yeah uh, and for example it like take a hot water and take a um, meat to the hot water yes what happened with meat Boiling. how it boils and becomes soft boils yeah uh, it boils yes and there happens the same we have a boils of these muscles and there we haven't got microorganisms and we have just necrosis dry necrosis yes no toxins dry some toxins wet yes okay and what about gas gangrene Yes, some gases. We have some uh, some microorganisms too, but they produce a gas. Yeah. What the microorganism it is? Clostridium. Clostridium difficile. Yes. Clostridium difficile. What is the most problem? Of this, yes, yes, wet, dry. If we see patient with gas gangrene, what we need to do for him? Surgery, eh? amputation. But part of leg what we will amputate is big yes if we see wet then green we will do surgery yes but not so big part and if we see a dry we can try to save a leg try just try I don't say that we will do it uh, but sometimes we can do it, not always. For example, we see uh, something black, some black necrosis, yes, and we can uh, <clears throat> we cannot understand it is deep or non-deep, yes. We do a necroectomy and see a live tissues. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What it means? It means that we will save this leg. That means that you don't beat, uh, don't need be quickly with dragon green, okay? With wet and gas, it is acute. It is emergency. Mm -hmm. Yes. If dry, wait. Okay. Try to do some more diagnostic methods for these patients. What else? We can do a surgery and we need to give them a infusions yeah? and some drugs for vessels. Yeah? And if we talk about microorganisms, we need to give them antibiotics. Yeah, that's all.